It's planner season, y'all, and today we have the Erin Condren Academic Planner Collection for you today. This is for the 2024-2025, wow, that was hard to say, school year. There's some cool new add-ins and options this year that I want to chat with you and show you all about, and I also have some of the accessories that are available today, so stick around. Foggy mornings are where I begin, conversations I can never win, but it's not a competition. Though if it was, I'm losing. Welcome back, friends. If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Erling with Erling and Company. As I said before, we have the Erin Condren Academic Planner Launch Collection today. I received this in exchange for my honest review, but as you guys know, my opinions are always my own. They're always honest. And I've been collaborating with EC for years now. If you walk around my house, you would think it's a mini store for EC because I use their organizational tools pretty much in every crevices of my home. Um, especially when I downsize, um, their organizational tools have been like instrumental. So it's more than just planners. If you never looked around, there's so much to see and you know, that can help you like just organize small spaces, your homeschool supplies, whatever it may be. Um, I've used this planner several years. I did not use it last year and I did miss it. I will be perfectly honest, I did miss it, but I've used this planner for everything but a student planner. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk to you about all those um, ideas as well, but it is also a great student planner for your middle school and up um, kiddos. They actually recommend it for about 12 and up, or I would say, you know, six, even a sixth grader can handle this planner as well. Um, a little bit of housekeeping first. I am going to show you some of the accessories that I received. And um, this is the seven by nine coiled um, option. There is going to, um, to be another option in there. It's gonna be an A5 um, soft bound, uh, which is similar to this um, size. I could have probably pulled an A5 um, planner for you guys, but I did not do that. <laughs> but it's similar to this size, uh, but it's going to be that soft bound. So it's gonna be thicker than this um, and flex and lace flat. So that is also gonna have like a minimalistic look um, inside as well that you can um, you can grab. And um, that's another option. So you have this option, you have this option. You also have, um, this is the interchangeable cover option. And then you have a vegan cover. For interior designs, you're going to have what I have here, which is the sunset floral. Very similar to um, the Colorful Cosmo. Is it Cosmo, Colorful, Colorful Cosmo? <laughs> Two. Um, very similar to that, which um, I believe this notebook is the Cosmo one. So that's why I brought it out so you guys can see a little bit of the difference. Because at first, I was like, wait a second, is this the same as last year? Because I've already also similar. have, surprise, surprise, the canvas interior design that every, like, as so many people loved last year from the Life Planner is coming to the Academic Planner. So that is another option for you neutral lovers. And that was just like the perfect neutral. I don't know about you, but it was just like the perfect neutral. Um, and then you also still have the Star Wars theme um, special edition interiors. You'll have that option still. And then the Focus um, line as well. All right, so those are your interior options. There is an additional add-in because we know with this, um, with the Academic Planner, you can add additional productivity notes. notes. Um, you can have um, line notes. And now there is a nursing, like study notes. What? What? You guys know I'm an RN. So I was like, what? That is so awesome. I'm like, I was really surprised to see that. So I am excited about the that. planner and then we'll um, end with the accessories and then I'll do a pen test because I did receive um, the Colorful Essentials Gel um, Pens Pack, um, 10 pack for, um, with this uh, box, with this PR box. So I'll show you those at the end um, with a pen test. have the option um, of upgrading your coils. So you do receive this and a platinum, and then you can upgrade it, um, your coil to gold or, you know, a few other options. Um, this is your interchangeable, um, covers. So I have a collection now for, I don't know, like seven years, maybe, maybe less. I don't know, but I have a lot of covers and those covers, no matter if you recycle the rest of your planner or you keep it, you can bring them on for it to everything else. Um, I really dig this cover. Um, I'm not a, normally a floral person, but I have been on this kick with this retro vibe and they, I think they've executed the retro vibe really nicely and I really, really dig it. Um, and I'm not a floral person, but I mean, this was from the spring sale and I went ahead and purchased this as well with uh, some other floral items and I don't know what's happening to me or what's taken over, but that's what I did. All right, so this is that's again, good. this is the sunset floral um, design. So uh, I hope that you can see 
a little bit. This is the Cosmo. And this is, like I said, it's very similar. So when I first opened this, I thought it was the same design as last year. But this is, again, this is a Cosmo. So, I mean, the flower, maybe like it's just a different colorway or something. You guys help me out if you have the one from last year and tell me how much different it looks. Because at first, I, I honestly thought it was the same design, but it's not. Um, July to December on here from 2024 and 2025. This is an academic year planner. You can have, have it start in July, August, or September. Um, so those are going to be your options that you are going to be able to um, personalize. You also can personalize this cover, have your name, have your school name, whatever floats your boat within the char um, character limits is going to be printed on your um, cover. So that is an option as well. So you have here, I like to try track um you know days off and things like that um i'll tell you throughout the way what i use an academic planner for i've used it as a work planner i've used it as a content planner it has worked perfect for that um and my this planner is recommended for middle school students you have the heritage and awareness observance um here so they don't print absolutely every single thing and fill up your space in your month so you just want you know you can just jot down the ones that you really want to uh you know explore and then here, this is the fun stuff that I love about the academic pages, um, such as the class schedule. So you have semester, start date, and end date um, on there. And then you have the column for time and then Monday through Sunday. Um, now, again, this is a seven by nine planner. So it's meant to be compact to be able to throw in your backpack or, um, or whatever not or your work bag. Um, and especially if you get the A5 version as well, that is super compact. Um, so you have course name, teacher, location and credit. So if your kiddo is using this as a high schooler and they're doing roles and they have some courses and stuff, they can jot this down here. If they have courses um, that are out source um they can jot them down here if they have some online courses or whatever it may be and then obviously for your traditional students i've also well. used this in the younger years as a homeschool planner and have done the same of like kind of just not a schedule but like just putting down our blocks and routines as our main lesson blocks. And I've done that as well. Like, you know, when I didn't need to write as much a year or like I get to a half point of the year that I just don't want to fill out the, the big, bigger planner. Um, so again, you have here like the start date and we'll end date on so. this on the, the schedule tab right here. So it will be quick for you to reference. So maybe semester one and semester two, and then that you will follow with a line page. Maybe you have some other things going on. Maybe you dropped and added, especially like your college students and things like that, or, um, you know, high school and um, different courses, maybe volunteer hours or whatever you need to um, do. So these are, I love this. I just think it's like, I don't know what's wrong with me. Like I normally do not go for floral. Like I can, I can gel with some floral, but normally it's not my vibe, but this is pretty. And this definitely looks different than the covers from last year from the Cosmo. Man, like I really wish I had the other one because it, it, it was bugging me. I was like, is this the same design or not? But it's not, it's not, it's different for sure. But look how it's just a perfect blush. Okay. All right. You want to see the rest? Sorry. Go ahead and put me on two times speed. All right. So July, um, 2024 is when this, um, planner starts. So this is a July start. Again, you can um, have it started August or September, whatever works for you. It is a Sunday start here, Sunday through Saturday. You do have some pre-printed holidays here. The heritage holidays are listed in the beginning. As I showed you, you have a bar right here for notes. I really love this aesthetics. Like, I don't know, like I'm, want, I'm looking at it again with the lights and everything. And it's like, man, I'm digging you. I really am. I'm really digging you. Um, the font um, looks very like similar to previous years um, that they stick with like the lowercase and such. So this to me is money. I love these two pages so much so much I now, am, you know, I, I work from home and then I homeschool. So I always have 
a lot of projects, due dates, and things like that. So this is why this worked great as a work planner, like awesome. Because to me, the projects and exams, like I went ahead and put like a, a washi or something over the exam part. And it was just like projects and due dates for me. And then I would just put them there and I would just like, you know, um, relabel the class and stuff. So that was just great for me. But description, class, and details, deadline, important dates, and completed. Um, I love that. I know I'm skipping a page for a second but this is my favorite spread of this planner and it states the projects and exams so you have a lot of space here for each month to um, go ahead and jot those things down so now if you're actually using this as a student this could be you know a really great way to stay on task and to know what's coming up um, especially when also if you're using this as a work planner and you have several different commitments and wear several different hats like I do um, I have due dates and things of you know designs and stuff that I have to be um, to submit or videos and stuff like that as well um, with my media company so I I love this I, I, yes <laughs> all right so this is your monthly um, dashboard so you have um, here goals um, I really like I never really write like for goals, this is just something different for me, and events, and then notes. So these are such a small little areas that is printed that you could really repurpose that to whatever you need it to be. Um, I almost wish that it didn't even say anything at all, but it's not a big deal to me that that can just be whited off. Now again, this is your 80 pound mohawk paper that EC is known for. You can feel that grit is not too rough, but it's not soft either, that it just feels like everything just smears, like the ink and everything just sucks in if you've never seen an EC planner and how it handles pens and markers and stuff. It's a glorious thing to witness. It's just like, yes, it's very satisfying. Anyway, so um, I almost wish that they, didn't, they weren't labeled and it was just like open-ended, but it doesn't really bug me that much at all. Uh, it doesn't really bug me. It is what it is and I can just like white it out. All right, so here is there. This layout I don't think has changed in quite a few years. Um, so it is a horizontal layout and you're gonna have a Monday start here because remember, this is an academic you know, base for a student planner, right? Um, so you're gonna have that Monday start. Most students start you know, their school um, week um, during the week and then some may have weekend courses. So the weekend slots are gonna be consolidated a little bit smaller, um, but you're gonna have a little column here uh, for Monday, then the mid, and then to do. Um, my only thing that I, you know, wish was different with this layout is like, take that line away from me. Like that one, like, you know, sometimes it was just hard for me to like, okay, what am I, I figured it out, always did. Um, but if that line wasn't there, I could just be more narrative of what I wanted to write down. But I do know that some people appreciate the compartments. I don't mind this to-do column on here on the side at all. I like that. But I wish this line right here, I feel a little constricted by it, um, that it wasn't there. No biggie. And I know some people go ahead and white it out or they just write rid requests and they don't care or they just actually use, you know, like um, some things they have to courses or things they have to do in the a.m. And then some more detailed things in the middle and then things to do. Um, but I wish I don't know. Do you tell me like I wish that line wasn't there. Am I crazy or not? And then you have the Saturday and Sunday to me. That was just a perfect amount. I try not to do too much work on the weekend or it's just very focused type of work that I do um, on the weekend. So that is great. And if it's for my students, um, you know, for my kiddos and my daughter uses EC um, like checklists and stuff that you can get customized and that or, or like the big table desktop one. And that's like perfect for her. I've tried over and over again to get her to use like a planner planner and it just she doesn't. But a checklist and I have it like, you know, cute and personalized. She can do my son. My son is the planner user. He's my planner one. For the remainder of the weeks, and I'll show you how a month ends, you have the note pages, um, and you can add additional one, two, notes. three, four, five note pages before you go to the next month. And technically, because you can see how this colors matches, um, you know, the little um, signal here. Uh, with that, this is part of this month, um, but, yeah, I'll just count it whichever way you want to um, count it, but super pretty. And again, this will repeat and I'll show you all of everything's going to repeat exactly as we saw before. So let me show you the dividers real quick. Reaching for
Okay, so we come to the end of the planner um, and you have the last few weeks. So here is, if I remember correctly, when you add notes, because I always like when I ordered them, I always added notes. Um, then you'll have a, a separate note um, after this, um, after your last month right on there. Um, it's not like dispersed between the months um, as some planners do, or but I, I like it all at, in one slot anyway. So let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight pages of notes at the end, and then you have like your regular stuff, and then you have um, uh, one sheet of stickers that they typically always have, exam, test, read, study guide, no class, midterm quiz, paper due, study, and vacation. And then you have a blank one at the bottom. Um, one thing that I am a little sad to see is that there's still no folder, friends. I really wish they add the folder. <laughs> I mean, like to me, of all planners, an academic planner should have a folder. That's my only con, really my only con. Like I don't even care about the line that's there because that's just personal preference. Um, you know, obviously the folder's personal preference too. But I know this is at a lower cost, obviously a, a lower price point um, than the life planner. So maybe, you know, that's how they keep it a little bit more um, budget friendly. But I want the folder. <laughs> like I really want the folder in this planner. I mean, I, you can snip it from, from like a, a, a previous life planner and then go ahead and just like press it in because with the, the tabs, um, I didn't talk about the tabs, but they like, they're nice and muted. It's not like your um, pop of color that you have like with your life planners, like the, you know, more loud and bold colors. It's just like muted and soft. It almost rem um, reminds me of like the other floral designs with the muted um, 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 one's uh, uh, colorway. So I do really dig um, the tab colors. I think they just, just look beautiful and they match the planner perfectly. All right, so this is the coil option. Option. It looks awesome with a gold coil. So I would totally like, like that's where I would go. Like a lot of times I would add like the rose gold, but I think gold is the perfect one. And they have quite a few new cover designs. Um, so I have a couple of things to show you. Um, this is called the functional sticker book fan. And it's so cool. I've never, I don't know if they've had this before and I've never just seen it, but this is super cool. Like I just, I think it's fun. Look at this. Look at this. All right. So um, it just fans out. Like it just reminds me like, um, you know, when you're testing for paint for your house, basically. Um, and I'm sure that's probably what they were going for. Um, but it's just so fun. All in one place. Not a big bulky book. And I think I could just put that in my side of my teacher cart. And that would be awesome. So right here, study session, quiz, do today, test. Um, and then here is the same things, just the different colors. Um, and I just want to show you, ooh, 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 I didn't, I missed this when I first looked through this. So this one has, I don't know if you can see, it has, um, little books, open books. So you can have this signal anything. This is like a laptop. This is a time maybe like for due date, um, maybe writing assignment, maybe, um, you know, a novel study or something, whatever you're doing. Oh, I love these. Oh, I love these icons. These are fun. These are so fun. All right. And then these are just kind of looks with the same retro vibe um, that I'm getting from it. Whether that was their intention or not, that's what I'm getting. That's what it's giving. Um, and these are like the habit ones. Um, I want to say like habit trackers and it's blank. So you can make it whatever you want it to be. And you got 175 stickers and endless possibilities. So there's 175 in these. So... I'm gonna um, 
hunt for the link for you and just look at the description box and I'll find it um, as soon as it's live. Um, and link it in the description box as well. Ooh, these are cute. Look at it. It's like little EC pens and stuff. And then this one says to do. I hope that's focusing. Um, that is super cute. I love that. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. Okay. And then you have more tools that looks like your EC things that you got. I got like a, a decent order from their spring sale. And um, I share that in my Instagram, it's saved on my planner um, highlights. And um, there was a lot of like these exclusive notebooks, which I have one on side for which I'm gonna do the pen test in. And um, I just love them. And this is just gonna be so fun. All right, so this one says quiz, task, and task. So this is a quiz and task. We have a few of those, and these are like some little um, sayings. There is magic in you. You are enough. Be bold and bright. Be you. Take things one step at a time. Change your dreams. Every day is a fresh start. Good things are coming. So love these little motivational ones, and so these are super thick, so it feels like you. And then you have some just like chill ones. You're amazing. Self-care. Do what feels good. Good vibes only. Yeah, definitely retro vibes. Dream big. You got this. Reset, refocus, restart. Love that. Um, you have this. And then you have the ends of your fan. Um, and even the back of it. I mean, like, this is totally rad. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to put it right in my cart. Y'all have these um, tabs. And this is, let's see. This is one of the exclusive notebooks to the spring sale. You guys got to pay attention to the spring sales because the exclusive notebook that comes during, it's formerly known as um, warehouse sale. They're so fun. So let's check the stickiness of it. So this one says important. This one says study. And this one says homework. So the idea with this, because it has a tab, is you can, I would say, put it right here. Um, so like, I know there's been some things with some of the stickies from EC in the past not being very sticky. So I just kind of want to, actually that one's holding quite well. Cause I know one of these is three, um, is posted. So I know that's going to be sticky, but that one, this one didn't say that, but that's, that's sticking pretty well. So now you have the tab up and you just made an extra tab and it's just as important right there. So I love these tabs. This is cool. I am a post-it user all over the place. So this is cool. So it says this week for that one. And um, then you have like the study topics and tasks. So even if you put this on your kid's curricula um, and you stop it in a certain spot um, and there's some things that they need to highlight or write, or you want to say, okay, um, you're doing some independent work and you want to write down, okay, have, um, you know, um, read this page and start this, um, grammar section, do this copy work or whatever or not. And you can go ahead and flag it for them right on their, um, curricula. Again, um, you can just tab it like that. Um, I think they, they stick pretty well. It's not like other um in the past that i think it's it's do, does pretty well and you can restick it um that looks cute i mean that's cool and then the last one is like homework so maybe some independent work for us homeschoolers and i won't take this one out but i mean wait maybe i will because i want to see them all together <laughs> i want to see them all. all right so um and then you can just flag or maybe you're working on creating a main lesson block or a unit study or whatever or not. And then you can just flag these things with a nice functional way that it's not going to just fall off. So that's pretty cool. Um, and that's a little cricket, which is going to bug me, but it's okay. Um, so that's that. See, one of these folders. Maybe I can snip from this and add it to that. Because, I mean, please, give us a folder. All right. <laughs> All right, so this one says this week's project and exams. 
And then right on here, you see it says project exam, and then you can check off as it's done. So maybe a whole bunch of due dates that you have or some task lists, or you know, you are jotting things down and you wanna make sure that you add it to your planner later on. So you can just go ahead and write these dates and then just stick it on the page. And then once you're making your weekly plan, then you can use that there. And then here's for prep, and then you can toss it, um, you know, recycle it as you're done. So now this one does say the post-it brand. So I expect this to be, yeah, it's way stickier. Um, but I think the other ones are not bad at all because like you saw, I was pulling not with a great amount of strength, but I was pulling quite a bit. Um, and it wasn't just like on sticking. All right. So, and this, the top one, I mean, it comes off fairly easily too, but um, I don't see that one falling off. Um, and you can, it's not super sticky, uh, with this post. I mean, it's just, it's just as sticky as a post-it. Yeah. Um, but this is fun. Um, I like this one. Then I have some larger ones. Um, this is the projects and exam. Now these are like something I would say that you would just put in um, and I'm obviously not taking out of the page. All right, so on this side, you can take out a few of these maybe. Um, there's no sticky behind this one. So you're literally just, these are super thick though. Um, week of on top and then you have Monday through Friday. So no weekends on here, so this week's plan. So maybe you're just brainstorming um, what you have to do as a student or whatever, or homeschool or whatever not you're doing, or if you're using this for work um, and it has that um, new design behind it, which is super pretty. Um, anyways, this is one of the notepads that is gonna be um, in this collection. And this one says projects and exams. So like the same, type so of the same type of vibe just a little bit different um maybe you have a lot going on in that one month or maybe you're just trying to keep track of other things too um this is a nice little um notepad as well so topic due date class details project quiz and test and then some empty bubbles that you can add whatever not so it actually expands it's more a little bit more expansive than this almost um and a little bit open-ended so you can decide whatever you have going on maybe you're with your high schooler or even middle schooler and you're trying to like get them used to that deadline and timetables and stuff as they're going to have to do in higher levels of you know of education so that's you know something that you can use for that um i really like this one and these this is my favorite from the tab so these are super useful for um i feel like of course this fan thing, i'm not a big sticker user but i will use them um you know like sticker lasts a long time with me because i don't use stickers all the time but this is fun <laughs> this is fun this makes me want to use stickers right um anyway so let me show you now um the gel pens that this i got study notebook i'm not gonna spend any time on it um because it's not available, <laughs> um, but if you want to see it, it's all over on my um, Instagram page um, on their highlights. This is a study notebook, and it's so fun. I love it. Um, I'm glad I grabbed it without like sight unseen. Um, so these, you know, they've gone to. I think it started last year, maybe a little bit before that, that they started printing what the color was right on the pen or marker so i appreciate that um so we have the hot pink and i'm gonna go ahead and test all these gel pens this is a 10 packed um colorful essentials red hot um pink peony um tangerine gold green lagoon robin navy and purple and we're gonna just go ahead and see them Deep all end, singing loudly as i pull and oh, i am tired again because i am always losing Ooh, that's smooth. I like that. Little bit, uh, so it needs a little bit longer to dry. So let's see how that, that was like, I don't know, five seconds, maybe less. So it does, um, you have to give it a little bit longer. So we'll test those out. Let's see how, wow, that one's, a, they're a little tough to come on and off, but maybe that's a good thing. So you don't lose the, oh wow. So you don't lose the, the top but that that one's like the toughest i've had maybe um it helps for those that uses the lid um 
On days you treat me like I'm not enough Well, there are songs that listen And know just how I'm feeling Cause it's not hard to say I love you It's only hard with you It would be so simple if you didn't love her too Alright, so I would say it needs about 10, 10 seconds or so. I think, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe even just a little bit longer. It was 10 seconds. So definitely not at the three or five second mark you're gonna smear. So they need about 10 seconds to dry. Um, and this one looks still pretty wet, so. Um, yeah, the only thing with these is like the lids are, maybe you just have to, I don't know, these are like, oh, maybe I'm weak. I don't know, friends. I don't know. That's just like funny. Like, it's a workout. Um, they're pretty though. Super pretty. And maybe it's just because they're new. Oh my gosh, look. I literally am fighting with this. Wow. Okay. I've never had any of their pen tops that were not secure. Oh my goodness. That's a workout. I think it's on the phone. Maybe because it's pressed all the way in. Hmm. Oh, that one came out easily. Jeez. Jeez Louise. Maybe I just need to work it out. I don't know. Okay. Oh yeah. So see, that one's easy. Okay. Maybe they just like really like put on one initially. That one wasn't that bad. Okay, so it does get easier the more you undo it. Okay, so I think it was just like, you know, it's brand new, but they are a little bit, just keep an, um, you know, if you have any dexterity or any um, issues with your hands, um, that these are a little tough when you first get them. So I just wanna, you know, being honest here, um, they're a little tough, these lids. Like, I'm breaking a sweat here, friends. <laughs> Um, but it does get looser, um, a little bit. All right. So no bleed through. I, I fully expected that there was not going to be any bleed through or anything like that. This is easy pen. There is some mild, very mild shadowing on there. Um, I'm a Hobo Genie Shape Planner user too. So, um, shadowing doesn't bug me one bit. Um, so as you can see, this is a slight bit of shadowing thing. Um, the first one smeared just a tad because I did it like right at the three to five second mark. Um, so it definitely needs about like 10 seconds to dry. And as you can see, we're good. Nothing. All right. Um, so that is that set. They write beautifully though. I just want to point out that the lids are tough. Um, but once you opened it a few times, it was not, okay. Now that I've shown you now, I can put it where I want to put it. Um, once you open it a few times, it's a bit easier. So I expect it's, I mean, it's, you're not gonna lose your top, that's for sure. <laughs> My goodness. All right, I love this, by the way. This is not from the current design, but these are, and they all come out. Yeah, I'm getting off track here. You guys know I get excited with planner things. Okay, so thank you so much for EC, um, for Sam and Tori um, for sending this my way. Um, greatly appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. Um, this was such a fun collection. Beautifully done retro. It's just like the perfect dose. Um, I think this is super fun. The academic planner can be used for more than just a student. I am proof of that because I've used it several years for anything but a student planner. But I do. I've even used it for homeschool. Um, and some of you that have smaller kiddos or maybe you don't need to write as much, but you want to um, track in a beautiful um, planner and treat yourself, maybe check this option out too. All right, so I'll see you guys next time. 
make sure you check my description box below. You'll find all the links, affiliate links, and all that jazz. And um, follow for more. And leave your questions in the description box below. Ah, uh, thank you. And I'll see you guys next time. Your price this you got no limit, so girl, let's spend it. A couple weeks in Costa Rica where we both can kick it.